Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about a pretty rare fish. You don't really see them that often. Fish stores don't get them that much and you can't even really find them online as I was trying to look and see if anybody had them. But we are learning about the pink Creole wrasse today. Let's jump right in. Prices on them, you'll spend about $30. Nothing too expensive. Tank size, you need about a 30 gallon whenever you first get them. They're normally about 1 to 2 inches long. But as he gets bigger, his max size can be almost a foot long. So you definitely need about a 100 gallon tank or more to keep him. But it does take a while for him to get that big. Care level can be easy in the beginning. But... It's moderate for the shippers. They have a hard time shipping these guys in because they just do not handle shipment well. So that's probably a big reason why you don't see them that often. Temper. They are very peaceful but can become aggressive as they get older. Like I said, they can get pretty large as a fish and can become just more tough than they were whenever they were little. Reef compatible, yes. But as they do get older, their diet kind of grows and broadens more. They start to eat small crustaceans, little ornamental shrimp like your sexy shrimp, and will even eat smaller fish whenever they get big enough. So that's like all three of those things are in your reef tank, so you definitely want to watch out for that whenever they get bigger. But it does take time. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything is basic there for him. Diet, he is a carnivore. He'll pretty much eat anything. Mysis and brine shrimp are some of his favorites. Pellets and flakes is also another thing to give him. But other than that, he's a pretty easy eater once he gets acclimated into the tank. Max size, like I said, he can get almost a foot long. In the wild, they, are, they easily get up to 12 inches. But in your tank, you'll probably see him hit about 8 inches whenever he gets old enough. So you definitely want to make room as he gets older. Compatibility, just ask. He acts more as like a delicate anthias more than a wrasse, so he can be really shy whenever he's first introduced into the tank. But after a while of being in the tank, he becomes the star of it. He will be out all the time showing off. Colors is this really bright pink, almost a little bit of purple on him. And if you look at the top of his fins right on the edge of his back, there's these little white diamonds going down him. And it is really pretty. This fish has an awesome design on him. Origin. He does come from southern Florida, Bahama area, and north of South America. So this guy is a wrasse, so glass lids are definitely a must, especially whenever you first get him. He will be prone to jumping out over stress, so make sure you have every little spot plugged up. Also, a deep sand bed is good to have because these guys will bury. He is one to go down in the sand completely. Where you won't even see him anymore so make sure you have a deep sand bed deep enough for him to go in down into and you also want it to be soft enough aragonite is a really good choice but make sure you don't have something down there like crushed coral to get him for him to go and hit that's not good for him so like i said they do not handle shipment well so they should be in more of an older more established tank especially reef tanks they love those and do well in them so make sure your tank is ready for this guy but other than that, that is your pink Creole wrasse. This guy is awesome, but you don't see him that often, so I'm glad to be showing him off to y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know how your day's going, and y'all just have a good day. Today will be a double feature, so come right back and we will learn about another fish. I'll see y'all later.